and uh, I want to share. Oops, I will share this. Let me share my screen. Okay. Okay, share my screen. Okay, so you guys see my uh, my screen here, which is called Design and Analysis of Algorithm Sorting Example. I believe you see that. Okay, so I'll start. Uh, so we'll be talking about the sorting. This is the example here. Uh, I think that this is, uh, let me try. So what we mean by sorting, let's see the, uh, if I have an in input sequence, A1, A2, AN numbers, so these are N numbers, uh, the, this is my input, the output should be a permutation, permutation means a reshuffle of the numbers, A1 bar, A2 bar, all the way to AN bar, such that, each number on the left is equal or less than the subsequent number A2, less equal or less than the subsequent number A3, and so on. For example, uh, now let me see if I need to change the color here, probably. Okay. So we can see it much better. So let's say uh, these are my numbers, 8, 2, 4, 9, 3, 6. These could be uh, generated randomly. I want them to be in the following order. That's what we mean by sort. Okay. So note that now I have 2, which is uh, equal or less, where is my equal or less than 3 equal or less than four. Now, of course, so I'll just uh, say less because this is less. Less than six, less than eight, less than nine. Okay. So that means the numbers are sorted. Now here we sorted them because we know them visually. But if I have a million numbers like these, of course, I will not be able to visualize all the numbers and to sort them in this manner. So I need an algorithm. I need uh, a way to do that. So let's go through a process called insert sort. Here is the algorithm which we want to do the insertion sort. I'm not going to go through the algorithm step by step here. I will come back to this algorithm after we explain it in the uh, uh, using the example. But in general, what we do, let's look at the numbers here. Let's look at this at this bar here, this slide. These are my these are my numbers from one to n. Initially, they are not sorted. The idea 
Now, if you guys uh, have an issue, just uh, send me a note so I can uh, explain for uh, do respond to your concerns. So this is my number. Is this my array? This is A. That's my array right here. Let me put it in uh, fill in the shape with yellow. So this is my array. And these are the numbers A1, AI, AJ, AN. Uh, initially, they are not sorted. So I will start at any point of time. I will go from this AI all the way to all the way to some J. Let's say if I equal 2 to J equal 5 between here and I and this number here, J, at any point, I consider that this is my key. And this key, I will compare it with this number. I will compare it to this number. I will keep comparing them and exchange. If this key happens to be less than this number, I will take the number here, put it in the J place and take this number and put it here. So in other words, what I'm saying is if this number is five, and this number is 2, definitely 2 is less than 5. So I take 2 and put it right here. And put the 5 in its place. Now I go to this number. This number could be 6. So I get 5 back here and put the 6 here. Now this number could be 7. Now 6 is less than 7. So I put the 6 here and take the 7 right there. And then I'll be done. Between I and J, so I made sure that between from here to there the key if it's less than any of these numbers should be moved to this place and then I move to the right I move one more step to the right then move one more step to the right all the way to the end let me explain it with an example so it will be more clear let me uh, grab all these numbers put them in black uh, okay now look at this 8 and 2 2 is my key so my key here is my key Okay, let me put this in a better shape. Okay. So this is my key two. Now this key two, this is my J and this is my I now. The, the only thing before two is eight, so I have to compare two with eight. Obviously two is less than eight, so I will exchange two with eight. So now I will move two. Uh, actually, I will do this way. And I will move there, there. So, 2 will move to the place of 8, 8 will move to the place of 2. So, I will have like this. So, this is what I am saying. The 2 and the 8 will be exchanged. So now two has moved. So the two and eight were exchanged position, of course, or I'd say exchange positions. Exchange positions. Let me put the reason because two, the key, the current key, 
is less than eight. That's why th that's the reason we call it insert. Insert because I want to take the key and insert it in this position, right before eight, and then shift eight to the right. So now it, my numbers becomes two eight four nine three six. My current key here. Current key becomes four. So now I have to play with the four. Now note that the four is larger than two and it's less than eight. So when I move two in place of eight, I did not know whether four is smaller or bigger than two. But that's not big deal. Now, 4 would be compared to 2, and 4 would be compared to 8. If I compare 4 to 2, 4 is larger than 2, and I will, so no exchange is needed. So here, let me go to the next slide. Here are the comparisons. Now, 4 is larger than 2. which means do not exchange 4 is less than 8 so do exchange now what really I am saying is 4 is my current J position let me put the positions here by the way array index Array indexes. This is one. Two. Three. Four. Five. So these are this is my indexes. Okay, and let me put the indexes here in red. So these are my indexes. Now, uh, oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now I am at index three, index J equals three. Actually, this should be here. Okay, so index J equals three. And I do the comparisons with four. This, so I'll write this as A of three, which is equal to four, larger than A of one. I'm not using the notation uh, starting with the index zero, but which is okay, perfectly all right. And then, 
So a with three equal four. I compare it with. Uh, I compare it with a one, which is already two. So this is a one now. Now, so I don't do an exchange. Now I compare a of three. Look, I compare a of three, which is equal to four. Now this is less than a of two, which is equal to eight. So I do the exchange. So this is my index now. I start, I moved my index from two from the previous slide here. That's in my previ previous slide. I had a o j where j equal two, meaning a o two. Actually, it's it from this state. J equal to. So so it's A of two. So I here I'm comparing A of two with A of two. I'm doing this because I want this to be so we can derive the algorithm easily. A of two is less than a of one, which is equal eight. So exchange positions. So now, so now a of one equals two, a of two equals uh, eight. That's I'm going back to the slide where I was now. Index three j equal three. I compare four with two, no exchange. I compare four with a, there is exchange, which means with a of j, which is three, I compare it with a of one and a of two all the way until j minus one is given. Now I'll go to the next position to j equal four, okay? So this is now, let me bring this here. Okay. So I had already two, four, eight from the previous one. Now A9, so I will bring, so I will save time in typing. So now my current J is four. Note that my J, here is my J. J was two, J was three, J was four. So let me put this here my j's, j, I started with two, then j equals three, now j equals four. Now j is my index in the array, okay? Now j equal four, so a of four, I will compare it, a of four equal nine now, is nine, I compare it with a of one, which is two, so no exchange. I compare a of four, which is equal nine, with a of two, a of two is four. Do not exchange. Do not exchange. Okay, and now, lastly, a of four equal nine. I compare it, uh, actually, it's more than a of three, which is equal 
uh, eight. So do not exchange. Okay. And, and actually these are larger, sorry. More. More. So until now, two, four, eight, nine, nine did not, that's my current key, uh, did not exchange with any of these because it's larger than two, two, larger than four, larger than eight. Now you can guess it. I will move to the position number five. Three, I will compare three with two. Three will not exchange with two. I will compare three with four. Four will become here and the three will move here. Now, I will compare four with eight. Four will move back here and eight will move here. And I will compare eight with nine. This is a good uh, example. This last one here with the three, it's because it really it shows the, that there is an exchange at every operation. So let's go to the next level. Before I do that, let me get my indexes here. So we are those are my indexes and uh, so two four eight nine well why didn't I go there okay so this is this just shows where my last steps are okay so this is my key let me put my key now I change it to a new color because it's it's an interesting oops. Uh, not this one. Okay, the shape. Okay. So this is my key now. So now my index. So let's start. My index is oops. Oh. Why am I here? I think I am making some mistake here. Okay. So, what's my index now? Get this guy. So my index is five. So I moved my index to five. Let me take this. So I J equals okay. So my index J5, now I compare A of 5 with A which is equal to 3. I compare to A of 1 equal 2. It's larger than, than this guy. So I keep 3 in the same place, don't exchange. Then I go to to this is three. It is less than a of two, which is four. So I do exchange.
I do exchange. So at this time, let me uh, create a new slide and show me four in place of three. That's how I'll show it. Duplicate the slide. The only difference is that this will be three. This will be four. So now, this is my new key. Okay. So once I do that, I need to a of five. Now a of five is no longer three; it's four. So four now, I compare it with a of three, which is equal to eight. Now four is less. So it is less than eight. So I do the exchange, which means now four will move here and eight will move here. Let me do it another slide here. So this becomes four. This becomes eight. Okay. We change the color now to something else. Make it this way. Make it this. Okay, so now my, now lastly, I'll compare A of five. which is equal now to 8, compare it with A of 9, which is equal, which is less than 8 of 9, so I do an exchange. Oh, I'm sorry. With A of 4, which is equal 9, So I do do exchange. Okay, and when I do exchange, so now this becomes 9. So let me duplicate the slide and show the result. This is 8, and this is 9. So at the end of this step, with index 5, I was able to move three in the proper position, which is right here, and then shift everything to the left, four, eight, nine. So that's a, that's why we called it insert. I inserted three between two and four. Now, then I shifted everything to the right. Now, last thing, I will do the same thing with the with the six. Here. Oops. So let me do this. So now I will do this as six. 
and here index six. Let me see, guys are still there. Okay, I'm as I'm selecting the key when I finish the comparison. Let's say I select the current key, which is starting from J equal to with the second element. I do the exchange with the previous one. Then I move to the next to the next uh, element, which is J equal three. In uh, resp I'm responding to Sudeep uh, uh, question. Going back right here. Going back here. Okay. This is where J equal three. That's the first step, I think. Yeah, that's the. So the first step was my key equal, so key right here actually is for index j equals two. So I start with j equal two, which means the second element because that's. Uh, I assume my first element is the smallest element. I start comparing. I go to the next element, j equal two, and start the comparison. Okay. I did this. So this is my uh, with j equal two. I compare with. Uh, I compare it with a of one. A of two and A of one, which is my J is two and J one here. So I do the exchange. Now my situation is two, eight, four, nine, three, six. Now index J equal three actually. Let me do this notation plus plus. So I increment J with by one. So J equals three. This is three. Which is mean now a over three. This is my index. This is the value, the current value. It's equal four. I compare it with j, starting from. So now I go with my uh, with my loop from here. From i equal one to i equal three, or from. Uh, I equal one to I equal J, which is from one to three. This is my comparison. I go with, I compare index three with index one, which is mean four and two. I no exchange, then I move here between four and eight. I do the exchange. That's what I did here. Now, here is, This is my uh, this is my line goes from this index to this index, which means J bring this down a little bit. Okay. With index with J equal four, then let's say go from I equal one to I equal four, which means I equal one to J. Okay, so from one to J. Now compare J in this case four. Four with one, four with two, four with three. Four, this is four, with one, compare this with this. Four with one, nine is larger than two, so I keep it. Then again, I do four, with, Two, I do the exchange. 
4, which is 9 and 4. No, I don't do an exchange. And then, okay. Four with three, I don't do any exchange. Okay, finished with this. I think I skipped this guy. I came here, now with index, I moved J one more step, right here, J plus plus equal four, I think this is equal five. A of four. Oh, didn't I just do that? I think I did that. Yeah, this was exactly what I have done here. Yeah. Uh, I think I have to delete this slide. Yeah. Going down to A J plus plus. So I am at this position. Now I will go from to here so I'll go from here to here now I compare A5 with A1, A5 with A2, A5 with A3 uh, why this is not complete Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. I did this when I did with a 5, with a 3, I compared with a 1, no change. With a 2, I did the change. And then uh, the F5, why is it equal 9? Oh, I think I, I made a mistake. But let me go to the final. Okay. I think with the final thing when uh, I'm still at index five, uh, A five, initially it was a three, stayed three, then it became four. When I changed that with four, then it became eight. When I exchanged that with uh, four with eight, now I think I will. Okay. Now, lastly, I exchanged the. Uh, Eight was nine, so nine became at the position five, and eight became at position. Now the last thing is when index j equals six. So index j equals six now. Here a of six. Let me change that. A of six equal six. 
compared with a of 1, which is 2, so no exchange. Then a of 6, I compare that. Now this is equal 6. I compare it with a of 2, which is equal 3. I do not make any change because 6 and 3 and then I do the A of 6 I compare it with A of 3 which is equal 4 so I don't do any oh I'm sorry A of 3 which is equal 4 do not exchange then a of 6 which is equal 6 I compare it with a of 5 and a of 5 equal 8 now this is larger of course this is larger that's why we don't exchange this is larger, that's why we don't exchange. Oops, sorry. But this one is less. A of 6 is less than A of 5, which is equal to So we do exchange. So at this stage here, uh, this becomes uh, A of Oh, this is, should be A of 4. A of 4 equal 8. So the 6 will replace, will exchange with the 8. So let me now duplicate this line and show the result. So this is 6. This is 8. So now my key becomes 8. So here, key is 8. And we, I continue, we go to next slide. Okay. So now, Now what we will do, because now I have a new key, which I moved here. So the uh, eight, the only thing I have to compare eight with is with, with the previous one, with this nine. I don't have to compare with the old ones now. So now, because it's a new A of, I continue six now equals 8 which is less than a o 5 which is equal to 9 and do x change so and I do the slide so this now line becomes 8 and this becomes 9. Now here j equals 6. Now I notice that j now is 6 and this is my last which is equal actually n. So this will be the last iteration. So note that now I have 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9 and they were all So this is final.
Actually, let me just Okay. That's to be consistent that I'm done right here. Okay, so now the running time depends on the input, which is N, the already sorted sequence. The major simplifying convention, we'll say time, the running time of the algorithm of array A over N units, time of A on length N inputs. Uh, okay. So we look at worst case, average case, best case. We usually work for the worst case, time of n, maximum time of algorithm of any input of size n. Average when the n is on average. Best case when all n inputs happen to be sorted. We don't work on that. Okay. Uh, yeah, the key position, we don't know what the key, what the value in the key, but the key position is, normally uh, to Sabib, is we start with, in fact, you can start with any number. I would start with a negative number. I assume that my key currently is uh, minus one. And I start comparing any uh, number I have in sequence with that key. But in general, in order to, to do a good job, we say, let me start with the second element in the array. And compare that second element with all the preceding elements. If it happens to be less smaller than any of them, then exchange it, then move it to the left. Once you have done that from J, which is starting with two, all the way to the first element, then move to the next one. The next key becomes uh, index number three. So you compare index number three with index number one and then index number two. Then you go to index number four. So index and number four, it's my key. So this key either smaller than all the elements before, and so you move it, or it's larger, so keep it, or it's smaller than any of them, so exchange it with any. And then go to the next index. By the time you reach N, you reach the last element, your last element becomes the key, then you do the exchange operation, and then you are done. So this is the... Uh, uh, idea here. So I will stop right here and I will uh, uh, I will keep it as an exercise for you to look at the next slides and to show the uh, to find the time of n, the t of n, which is the, the expected execution time of the algorithm as n goes to infinity, which means for extremely large value of n. Uh, that's basically what I wanted to do for this class, and I would like to stop right here. Uh, what time is it now? It's, I think, yeah, it's 8.44, it's almost uh, 9. So, so I'd like to stop right, right here. Do you have any questions? Does anybody have any question here? Yes, go ahead, Martha.
Thank you. 